Hi and welcome back. This is going to be a really fun and a very important episode because this is going to be the start of the final product feature we're going to be building in which is showing how to add line items to the invoice and this is going to show how you can uh, connect different tables to each other and it's going to have some review on some things we've already done but it's going to essentially take our application and add in some real life features that will make it something that's actually usable so we're going to give the ability for users to add products to each invoice so it's not going to be a you know kind of like a one-off kind of thing they'll be able to dynamically add multiple products to each invoice and then that will total up. In this episode though it's going to be a little bit shorter and we're going to first just review uh, building a scaffold out for our new sales and so to do that we're first going to create a branch so get checkout and we're going to call this adding purchases Okay, so we're now on that branch and we just have to create the scaffold. So I'm going to do Rails G scaffold and I'm going to call this purchase. And we're going to make sure to do purchase in uh, with a capital letter. And then we're going to have a name, which is going to be a string. We have a category, which is also going to be a string. A quantity, which is going to be an integer. And then one of the other things, uh, if you remember back to some previous episodes, we also need to put a reference to the table that we want it connected to. So I'm going to do invoice, because that's what we're wanting to connect it to, and then references. Hit return. And there we go. That's all created for us. So if you go to DB and then migrate, you can look at the bottom one and you can see we have create purchases and so we have our purchases table now with the name category quantity invoice and this invoice it is just a reference to our invoice table so last thing we're going to do in this video is just to migrate the database so do rake db migrate and there you go that's been migrated to review you can always come over here to your schema file and if you scroll down a little bit you'll see purchases right here so we have purchases with the name and all the other items and by default it adds our created at updated at and uh, it also added all of our views for us so if we start up the rails server and go to preview it did our views our routes and all those things so if I just go to purchases there we go we have purchases and we can add one if we wanted but I'm not going to because that may throw off this whole uh, invoice side you can see by default rails actually creates this as a form field but in reality this is this form is actually going to be nested inside of our invoice so what we're going to be doing in some of the next episodes is we're going to have our invoice and whenever we create a new invoice and then we go and we show it then this is where a user would be able to add additional line items and so in a real life application you may want to do that all in one step however for the sake of learning how to build a rails application I thought it would actually be helpful to separate this out so you could see how all of it can get wired up so if you went through that great job we created the scaffold and in the next few episodes we're going to be adding in the ability to add those items to each one of our invoices so I'll see you then